All right, here we are with Patrick Dowd, and this is your second novel. Yes. Very exciting, and uh, we're here, and the name of it is The Morneth War. Yes. Part of the Winnetalk Tales series. Yes. And and uh, this is the second one. Now, do you have, uh, in, in your mind, when you're writing a series, do you kind of um, have, in do you have in your brain the workings of the third? And the fourth, yeah. This this particular story is going to take four books to tell, um, but as far as this other world that Winnetalk is a, a part of, um, there could be as, an unlimited number of stories about it. But this particular story, the story of this particular character and what he goes through, um, is is a is a four book story. Is a four book story. Yeah, so and this uh, is the middle of the story. We're in the middle of the story, and you can get you can get these books we should mention at the bookstore of Gloucester. Yes, and uh, the release of the book, very exciting, is coming up, right? It it, it actually just happened on Tuesday, um, the twenty fourth. But the, you just put, but okay, we're we're going to talk about the uh, release party. Yes, there's a party for the release of the book, um, sort of a birthday for the book at the bookstore um, on Main Street on the fifth of June which is Sunday, about a week from this, yeah, Sunday. Yeah, the, upco the upcoming Sunday, yeah. This, but but uh, <clears throat> it's got to be, that's got to, you got to feel pretty good that the people, that, and I feel pretty good about this too, like Janice and uh, Bob Ritchie and the Writer's Center of Gloucester. This is really nice uh, literary kind of uh, thing where people kind of embrace writers in Gloucester. There are a lot of us. Yeah. Do you belong to any of those kind I of groups? I could be embraced more. <laughs> Depending on who's doing the embracing. Yeah. I'm sorry, you were asking. <laughs> no, but do you belong to any of these groups? Uh, not in any sort of official way, but I, you know, I, I've just been to the Writer Center for a couple of wonderful events, and I go to uh, the bookstore for events there all the time, and, and know a lot of the people who. They have a series. How often do they have the book? The, is it the series that they have? Is it like a every other week at the bookstore? Yeah, um, it's it's a seasonal thing, and it's usually once a week. Or I, you know, it's it varies, but sometimes yeah. it's once a week. Uh, but spring and autumn are the two the two seasons of, of series. Of oh, bookstore. okay. Not not so much in the summer. Well, no. I'm surprised actually. Because you think of all the summer people that are here for the, you know reading at the beach. I'm sure there's a good reason, but I don't know. It. Hmm. I have to talk to Janice. Yeah. She probably has enough business. So no, never enough. Never enough business. But let's get back to the book. Okay. Yeah. And why don't you tell? Can you can you uh, talk about what type of world this is and and what well, who this kind of book would appeal to? Um, well, it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy world. So generally speaking. It's got. Uh, it's a world where people can do magic, and there are monsters and intelligent races that aren't human, um, uh, as well as humans. Um, the setting is very much like New England, um, as far as the flora and fauna goes, um, and um, there are also other parallels, which I probably would be better to leave to the reader than to go into here. Oh, okay. And you, you uh, so the flora and fauna you speak about. You moved to Gloucester, and part of, in our last interview, you talked about how, uh, like, kind of where you live, you're close to a lot of uh, the nature and trails and stuff like yes. that. Yes. Yes. Does that inspire of, you? Very much so. I spent a lot of time walking in the woods, and, and a lot of my um, work is done while walking in the woods. I always have something to write on, so I can make notes when I think of something, so I don't forget it. Um, but also, I should mention, you were asking um, what the world is like, uh, and, and also you're asking if I'm inspired walking in the woods. Um, there are one or two events, Gloucester events, that uh, found their way into this book in disguise, or, or were transformed, uh, and now uh, are inside the book. I won't say what. Oh, oh, that's the ultimate tease right there. You had me at the edge of my seat. It's nothing I'm too, like, it's I'm good. waiting, I'm waiting Actually, to hear. It's, um, I was going to say it's nothing too scandalous, but I suppose one of the things was kind of a scandal. Yeah, Not that big of a scandal, but it was kind of a scandal. 
All right. I shouldn't. I, now I'm, now Patrick, I'm milking it. I'm sorry. That is tremendous. Is really that is the art of selling a book right there. <laughs> you are. Did, did your, your wife is in PR. Did she give you? Did she? No. Give you I just, that was really spontaneous. I'll probably regret it. Maybe you could edit that part. No, we're not editing. We don't edit it in Good Morning's Live. So everything's raw and uncut. But I love the way you just teased that because I, 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 I don't really generally, I don't really, I have time to read any books, to be honest with you. But uh, fantasy, you know, is, isn't, you know, it's just not my particular thing. But but when you just said that, <laughs> you just pulled me in. I'm like, I gotta find out what what you know in which way. Yeah, that was great. I'll, I'll tell you after the interview, so you won't be disappointed. Now, actually, you know. No, no, don't say it. Do not say it because that was brilliant. I'm telling oh, okay, you right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, it, what what else would you like to talk about about the book? Um. Well, we. Did we say when the event is? It's at the bookstore on okay. Sunday, June 5th at 3 o'clock. That's important. Mm -hmm. And everyone's welcome. There'll be snacks and nice. fun. Do you have a, uh, do you have a website? We, we're, uh... Yes, I do. There's a website that the, my wonderful publisher created called uh, winnetalktales.com, mm -hmm. uh, which is... W-I-N-N-I-T-O-K. It's probably too small for them to see, but you just spelled it out. Yeah, and we'll put the, uh, underneath the video, we'll put oh, the link to it. Yeah, of course. And, uh, yeah, this is really, really cool. And and what are the ages of the of your of your main characters? Um, Elwood, the main character, is 16. Mm -hmm. And the young woman pictured with him on the cover is a couple years older. She's 18. Is that the, the, the artwork on the cover? Oh, the other one was, the other book was the same way, really beautiful artwork. Let me pull Again, this August Hall, a wonderful illustrator. I'm very, very happy and fortunate to have had him. Yeah, jeez, that guy is. this cover. I'm very happy about it. Do you know where he's from? I don't know where he's from originally, but he's in California. He does really nice work. Really nice work. Yeah. You know, if I'm going to write, if I ever write a book, I hope. Uh, you know, I'm not talented. I can't. I can't write for, for shit. But <laughs> if I did, I would. I would pray that it's that I got someone like that to do my cover because that's a. Uh, well, you could put one of your beautiful photographs on the cover. Yeah, but I don't know. There's something about that kind of a painting. Really nice. But uh, so I want to. I'm really excited about your 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 party. I'm I'm happy that the the bookstore of Gloucester exists and is there to to. To promote and uh, and to work with local authors, and uh, and I hope you report back and uh, and maybe someone if we can't get there, someone takes pictures so we could uh, share it, uh, share it with our viewership. That would be great, Patrick. Thanks for coming down. Thank you so much.